Hey guys, John here with Power Clean Pro Services, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Everflow EFSW 5500 dash box. Um, this is a soft wash pump. It is the new addition to the um, EF 5500, the standard edition Everflow's uh, 5.5 gallon 12 volt uh, pump that a lot of the soft wash industry uses to apply bleach treatment or soft wash treatment to uh, roofs, home siding, uh, whatnot. This is the soft wash version. So there's a few differences and I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison, show you what I found so far, and yeah, let's uh, get this thing cracked open. All right, so how do I get in here? There's a few features that I'm really excited about. So first off, you have the owner's manual, just right there. I'm gonna just put that to the side. Then you have, okay, I think I know what these are, uh, but we'll talk about those in a minute. You have some fittings, and then you've got the pump itself. Oosh, this thing is not for the faint of heart. All right, so put that right over there. Oh, let's give you a better angle there on that. All right, so looking at it, uh, let's get this thing off here. What does this say? It says, to extend the life of the bleach pump system's replaceable pump cartridge. That's this thing right here. Um, fill tank with fresh water after spraying, spraying bleach. Remove spray nozzle from the gun and pump fresh water through the system. Discharge discharging spray onto a hard surface such as a driveway. So they're basically telling you to, you know, cycle water through it effectively. Don't let the pump slash sprayer freeze. So pretty good tips. I don't know why they need to print it on the front and back. Um, it's attached here with these little ball and you've got an Allen key. Uh, this Allen key isn't a for the tensioner that's right here. It is for the uh, pump's tensioner, which would have been nice. Um, having a pump tensioner Allen key would have been nice because a lot of guys don't know that you can adjust this to adjust the amount of pressure that the pump's putting out. Um, this is for the pump head, taking the pump head off. The screws are a little bit different, but we'll get into that. So first, I want to just do a visual inspection so this is the standard pump, this is the EF5500, and if you have this mounted on your system right now, it looks like it's gonna, this looks a tad bit shorter. Um, so hopefully you gave yourself a little slack on the SEA connection, but uh, it looks like it mounts up straight, the hoses are gonna be pretty in line, everything's gonna be pretty in line there. So the footprint itself is not, dramatically different. I mean, you do have this extra big um, uh, sensor right here, or switch slash sensor. So we'll get into that right now. So this thing is pretty cool because this is the pump's first power switch, right? So you don't have to install something like this separately. Um, you don't have to, I know with my soft wash systems that I build, I have to put something like this on there and this is gonna be, you know, 15, 20 bucks. I'll put a link to this thing in, in the description below, but it's a heavy duty switch. Uh, it's not something designed for, you know, like a little toggle switch. Those things burn up pretty fast. I stick with these because these are pretty heavy duty. They last a long time and uh, they work really good. But having this switch built right in is gonna save a little bit of time. It's gonna save a little bit of money. So that's really nice um, on that. So, you also have this guy right here. So this is a leak sensor. So basically how this works, if the uh, seals fail on this and it starts to leak into the pump, to preserve the body of it, it's going to automatically cut off and it's gonna tell you that there's a leak with that little light there. And we're gonna simulate that by just kind of pulling it off. I think what it's doing is it basically just shortens it. Uh, creates a short, the light comes on, it kills the pump, and doesn't allow you to uh, turn it back on until you repair that leak. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing I was really excited to kind of see for the first time was these quick connects. Uh, and that's what these things are here. So 
you're gonna get in the bag here uh, some quick connect. So these are quick connect fittings, very similar to like hose quick connect fittings, um, like the uh, not pressure washing hose, but like a garden hose, like the uh, yeah. I've got some right here. So I've got like the uh, the garden hose quick connect fittings that you can just quickly disconnect and quick connect uh, fittings, but it's gonna be a bigger footprint. I think this is a three quarter inch plug. Um, and then you have a three quarter inch barb on this side. This one, so you get, you get two of those. Um, you get plug to barb, and then you get this one, which is plug to an MPT connection. And this is going to be a one half inch NPT connection. These are gonna be three quarter inch barbs. So very important. If you, if you haven't moved to a three quarter inch, um, I don't use three quarter inch on mine. I use half inch for pretty much everything. So these connections are not gonna be really good for me. I'm gonna to have to go out and buy other connections. I believe Valley Industry provides these and they also have some available online. I'll put a link to a few in the description below uh, of the ones that I'm gonna purchase. So, how these basically work is you have the quick connect. This slides out. First, you have this little plug, kind of protect any kind of dust and debris getting in there, you know, in transit. Uh, it also is a little wet, so it tells me that it's lubricated um, or, you know, has been, it, it's, it's been, either run or pr primed, I think is the word I'm looking for. So one thing that I was curious about, this has no threading whatsoever inside of this hole. So there is no option to put an NPT connection in there, um, which kind of sucks, you know, because you want to have something that you can grab off the shelf, you know, at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that really quickly. And an MP3, uh, NPT thread is always a good fit. This is only using the, the plug. I mean, the plug is pretty solid. You know, it snaps in there, has a nice fit, has an O-ring on there. That's probably something that may fail. I would probably either carry spares of this entire thing or a few spares of the O-ring um, just on hand. But, all right, let me put the, uh, yeah, see, she's in there pretty good. All right, and then you clamp that down and that's how you install your barb. So let's say this pump fails, if you have another one, you just take it out, boom, put another one in, put, uh, put it on and you're good to go. You're, you're right back in business. Um, same thing on this side, you've got the little plug there. Done. Now, if I were to, uh, if this thing were to fail in the field, you know, of course I would check my fuses. Uh, and we'll do a video to diagnose these things, the things that typically go wrong with them. Um, but of course I wanna check if the slight's on or the pump has died, you know, whatever, whatever. I probably wanna carry extra pump heads with me and um, an Allen key so that I can quickly, five bolts, take these wires out, put the new head on, quick connect in, quick connect in. That way this piece stays pretty much intact. Um, you don't have to remove any of that hardware. Sometimes people mount this, mount these things in and they're like semi-permanent. It can be a little bit hard to get these things off unless you like either bend the screws or um, use uh, like really accurate threads with some like butterfly uh, wing nuts there. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically everything that I'm seeing on this. And here's a comparison. I mean, I wanna show you kind of how this thing hooks up. So I've got my battery here. And then whenever you're, you know, testing stuff out, always look and see where the wires are going. Like on this one, I just know it, but the black turns into the red. So this one is gonna be my ground wire, uh, my negative. And then this one is gonna be my positive. So I'm not getting it backwards. Uh, oh, got the switch on. Ah, there we go. So the switch on, off. Another really cool feature about this is they say you can run it dry and not affect it. It's used the Viton seals. Um, it has a, uh, I think a Honeywell uh, switch um, mechanism built inside of it. So, I mean, good quality parts, everything's, uh, you know, th these things last forever if you if you pri uh, if you flush them. I mean, I probably get, you know, we do maybe 
two jobs a day, uh, five days a week, and I probably get about four to six months out of something like this, you know, at about $130. Uh, something like this is running, uh, I think I paid $180, $190 for this thing. So it's a, definitely a step up, but if it's built better and if I can replace just the head, um, the heads on these, uh, like I know the head on this one, I just purchased and it was like 60 bucks. I'll put some links um, to the Amazon in, in the, below, but the heads on this is gonna be right around the same, 60, 70 um, uh, bucks on something like that, maybe 80, but it's cheaper than replacing the entire uh, thing, which is gonna save us a lot of time and a lot of money in the future. So that's gonna be really cool. Uh, the switch built in is a really great feature. Now, let's say the switch comes in, the shorts, boom, this little light cuts on there and it lets us know that it's dead, it doesn't send any more power. Once it's reconnected, it goes right back on. So, pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Everflow for making a really good unit. Um, I'm really excited to throw one of these on uh, the, the rigs here, give it kind of like some field test and check it out. But yeah, let me know if you are using the 12 volt system, if you're gonna be upgrading to the bleach pumps, um, let me know if there's any questions you have about this thing. I'll try to answer as many as I can and I'll try to include as many links in the comment or in the, uh, in the description below as to where to get these, where to get the plugs. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have the fuse here. This should be a 20, yep, 20 amp fuse. So just making sure you carry a few fuses. On one of my pumps recently, I've just had some some fuses blow on it. So, you know, just kind of one after another, just the fuses blow on it. So definitely carry some 20 amp fuses with you. Um, just a good, just a good habit to have. Carry some extra barbs because these things crack, these things break, it's just inevitable. Uh, and then I would carry an extra head with me uh, pretty much wherever I go in the Allen key to remove that. And I'm gonna do a separate video on this one showing you how I remove that head and reinstall it and we're back up and running. So either way guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below. Are you gonna be upgrading to the um, new bleach pump? And yeah, make sure you drop a like and you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.